Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I just got a one different kind of a problem statements, which one might not often use these things, but it is sometimes it is helpful when you are having a that kind of an KPI that you can use them. So the exactly the problem statement is let's say we have some KPIs which is on a cluster bar chart and some other KPIs that on a uh, uh, stack bar chart where we have some uh, category wise on a region you have distributed and if you see the currently there both x axis are same and now something like comes up to, uh, to the client that okay no if we have two similar kind of an accents let's put these two into a sim same graph so how you can achieve this thing so what i mean by is there so adjacent to this west total like 0.886 million and its corresponding west value of a breakdown with some category level so how we can do this thing because in current capability with respect to power bi it is clearly stated that there is a stack column chart and then there is a cluster column chart so you cannot um, mix these things without doing some additional or some work around effort so what i so here is an output looks like so what i have done here is like like i just created this forecast this is nothing target is nothing the forecast i just Pictorically, just wanted to make it easy for understanding and adjacent to that the sales value is there so if you see here this on, on a same region you have seen so it makes it easy someone to come if they want to compare that is most important thing like if they if these two kpis are cannot be compared then it doesn't make sense to have it on a one chart to be honest so it is something which makes sense and at the same time it can be comparable then only you should uh, go for this kind of a chart and it helps a lot to, to clean up the space it looks easy and even let's say for example if i have a forecast value of 0.89 but my actual sales like 0.71 and how it goes break down and even in this particular forecast chart uh, forecast bar also you can break down these things so, uh, on a given data set but what kind of a data set and orientation that I am currently using. So this is just a sales superstore data that I'm using where I have an order date, category, region, sales, and I have just randomly cooked the target data sales uh, for the demonstration purpose. Now, how we can achieve these things in Power BI? Let's get started for this thing. I have created another dashboard. We need an Excel workbook. Uh, let me open this thing and let's see how we can do this. Mm, takes a while so i have a sales data let me load the sales data so if i go here till the time if you see uh there are two kind of an axis you have the first will be like uh the first first like you have the region then on the region it bifurcates into two parts that is the forecast and sell sales and we cannot have this thing same uh, if we have same something then it will just create a uh, two different uh, stack charts but we want a bar chart here so let's see how we can do that so my data set okay we have that duplicate let me remove this video on this thing okay so first thing we need to create an additional axis and for that axis i just need to enter data let's see let me give us data uh, one is my c sales the second is forecast okay and we can have additional let's if we want to sort the data in a format particular format and let's give us my uh, access data okay access data or something like this let's load this thing we do not require any kind of a connection needs to be made here so we have the two data so this access the data i have created uh this will go into one of my access on as i here if you see the sales in forecast and the region will go to other thing now we want the uh measure to be there like to create this thing measure so i have a like we need to create a multiple measures for this thing that is one of the I would say tedious stack or something that we have to create uh, rigorously here. Uh, so first measure that I've just created uh, to calculate the sales. Likewise, I have calculated the sales for office supply. Likewise, I created for the target technology. So let me just copy paste this thing and I can use 
here also if i go here i can paste it here yeah access data sort order everything looks good let me change save it here once it gets saved we need to create four more uh just for office supply as well we have to create Office supply. Just make sure that these office supply spelling should match with the category column. Since what are we exactly doing? Let's say switch we are using. If the selected value is sales and it is an office supplies, then give me the total sales value for office supply. Again, I'm saying for a selected value, let's say selected, let's say when it's a forecast or it's a sales value, let's say if it is for sales and give me sales for office supply. So it will give you the total office supply sales. Now, once it's done, let me do the for furniture as well. So this is for furniture. So we have all three axes has been covered. Now, if uh, my bad, I guess I have not copy pasted the correct one office and supply is done. I need to copy the technology one, my bad. So we have the three, these distinct values. Now we want this forecast value as well. So forecast, we ha I have created one more measure, which you call as the target, target sales. Now if I just go to here, new measure, here it makes sense, it's correct. So we have all the four values now, we just need to plot it on a, my bad cluster bar chart. Let me expand so that you can see it. So first we require data here. Then the region. Region we can like this. Then we have to go for these furniture thing and technology. Why it is coming like this? I have to go to this. So here it is. If you see forecast value, sales value, forecast value for a given is. And if we can just format it, but uh, let's have the data labels. Let's have the total data labels as well. If I can just remove the Y axis title and values it looks good and then total total labels and all everything looks good i just need a grid line to make it more easy and visible and let's make it as a dash horizontal is fine let's go to vertical vertical it should have no dash does not look good solid so the same thing that we have created here like it's been created and just little bit of modifications it will uh, look good. So this is how you can achieve. This is more of a like a capability front that okay, how you can create, uh, uh, how you can actually mix your stack bar chart and a column cluster. Sorry, cluster bar chart and your stack column chart. So this is how you can like create and mix the things. And even you can go one level down like, uh, like for forecast also you can. Uh, or categorize into different things that is also can be doable so i uh, hope you were able, able to follow this video and uh, uh, follow for more power bi updates i will be posting new power bi things that can be achieved uh, and easily doable uh, thank you so much